Here we go. First round of this lightweight six rounder. And I'm delighted to say that me and Barry are joined by the new WBO super middleweight interim champion, John Ryder. How are you, John? Hello, hello. Thank you for having me on. I thought you were going to say we got married then, the way you said that. I'm delighted to say me and Barry, no. But i, I got to say, this is a real gutsy um, step up here from Regan, the box Kiko Martinez in only his ninth fight. <laughs> I'll tell you what they are, Regan's, aren't they? Same tattoos and everything on his back. Sammy and Rodriguez, he does. A similar stature of Kiko Martinez, Spain's greatest ever boxer. Corey O'Regan, he's a, he's a very accomplished boxer. I'm beating in eight. And hasn't lost a round as a professional yet. Lose well, always looking to make his opponents miss and fire back with Chris Counters and nice positive start from Corey Jump. Good, great start for Corey. Um, Chevron just gave me another another fact that him and oh here we Corey go. Oh, for, uh, not another one. Oh, oh my in 2019 or 16, I can't recall. So I missed that because I was too busy moaning about your stat. What you, you and um. You and him having the same barber. Well, me and Kiko. We don't got the barbers now, we got the polishers. Oh, good shot there from Oregon. Smart movement with the feet. Just glides out of range. The, the other thing is, it's just little skip, yeah. little skips back, isn't it? Very subtle. Making Rodriguez just fall over that front foot and he fires back with that sharp counter. <laughs> Last fault in September, O'Regan <laughs> uh, pointing to Tinga and Gobi over six rounds. And I think like a lot of these young prospects, it's all about staying busy, be over the moon to get out on a big show like this just before Christmas and kickstart 2023. Good movement again from O'Regan, boxing nicely on the back foot. He's just holding his feet enough to get it. Just a, it's not a low, it's not a lot of weight on his shots, but just enough to stop Rodriguez from walking through him. And the, the constant change of direction of the feet from Rodriguez is just um, making making Rodriguez a little bit of a sitting duck here. Rodriguez, nickname Cheeky, see on the back of his shorts. <laughs> Just getting picked off at the minute. Some mark into the left eye of Rodriguez. He's just walking on to everything at the minute. Like you say, Barry, not putting much into the shot, but very accurate. It's a very good end to the first round from Corey O'Regan. Yeah, lovely balance there. John was never did O'Regan's work. Just a great, great punch variation and uh, just little subtle movements to the side. Talk us through this opening round from O'Regan, John. Uh, I think it was good. It was mature. He wasn't rushing his work. He was picking his shots. Got caught with one there, but uh, nice little subtle movements to the side and, and putting shots in at different angles. Nice sidey box, didn't he, Barry? No, he's good. And again, the balance is really good. He's got a really wide stance, and you know, but but he, but he stays in the centre, and so he can move in and out really quickly with his feet. But the change of direction all the time is making Rodriguez follow him rather than going in the middle to cut the ring off. And then right, again, so he just stops, stops it wherever he's moving, stops in the movement, lets the combinations go with a bit of snap, and then, and then back on the, on the retreat again. Yeah, very positive start from Corey O'Regan. Making cheeky Rodriguez walk onto everything. Always looking to throw that lead right hook. See again there. Got his head down, he's got to be careful. Rodriguez, he's open to an uppercut from O'Regan. That's better with the guard from Rodriguez, nice and high, just walking forward. But again, like the first round, just walking onto everything, Barry. Yeah, if, if you're going to walk forward like that, you've got to get a little bit lower. It makes it almost an impossible target to hit. But you've got, like, like Kiko Martinez does, you've got to just you wing that right hand over the top. It's got to be so much acceleration into the shot. Belaboured with the work there of, of Rodriguez, and that's makes him an easy target to hit. I don't really call this a criticism, John, but 
Would you like to see just O'Regan just sit down on his shots a little bit more and turn the hips in? I mean, very accurate, uh, very accurate, sorry, very sharp, but just the, the more arm punches, aren't they, than real solid shots? Yeah, I mean, he is, he is dropping his height with certain shots, but just not letting him go over the top. But he's, he's picking his shots well, but I think he's just he's warming into it, and I think the longer the fight goes, the better for him. And also, it's what you lose and what you gain, isn't it? You know, you want to be more. Get more I'm sick. I'm sticking for the guy who can't punch because I couldn't punch. Um, Make service. <laughs> yeah, no, I really couldn't do. But I mean, it's about you know, what you lose to what you gain. You know, if he loses the movement that that he has here, then it's almost not worth it. But it is about getting the balance right. Well, ex exactly like I said in the opening round, he's not lost a round as a professional yet. So he's doing something right. He's enjoying this. He's. And there's, there is a bit of weight in the shot, to be fair. You know, it's just, you know, you've got a nice wide stance machine. You know, if he gets the timing right, he can push up that back leg like that. And there's a bit of weight behind that shot. Because he's always looking to skip back out the distance, which means, obviously, he's not he's not a full of momentum into his punches. And that's probably what the difference is right now. It's very tidy, accomplished Southpaw. And again, making Rodriguez walk onto everything, spinning off, moving back to the centre of the ring. That's good. Ring IQ there, always allowing space behind him. O'Regan, who again at range is a very, very tough man to beat. And nice and loose as well there, O'Regan, to get to those punches together in combinations. That's good. Yeah, yeah, plenty of weight in those shots. Good variation. Head, body, uppercuts, hooks. Good work from Oregon. Lovely right. Uppercut followed by a left hand. He's hurt, Rodriguez. He's really stepping his foot on the gas now. Not long left. Last few seconds. It's a very good end to the second round from Corey Oregon. You talk about weight of shots. He certainly felt those, Rodriguez. But also, not just, it was the weight of the shots, but also the accuracy and the quality of the work. If anything, at the end there, he, he did what? Understandably, just no really rally, but probably need a bit more more time on the shots. But he has a lovely little left hand there, and again, they got the second one. That's when I really hurt Rodriguez, and then a loaded, but probably should have took a little half a step back and maybe just thrown half the amount of shots with a bit more weight than him. Yeah, really good stuff from Corey O'Regan, but I've got to change the topic here. John, are you going to get the Canelo fight? Emirates, Vegas, are we going to see it? Mate, I, I, I do hope so. I'll go wherever it, wherever it takes me, I'll go. Uh, the Emirates would be a dream, but um, Mexico or, or Vegas, Cinco de Mayo weekend would be would be excellent. And how does that sound, the new WBO interim world champion? Oh, on an away show, even better. Uh, yeah, very good. Back to this one, Corey O'Regan. He's sharp, he's lively, always moving. Very accurate, like you said, Barry, with the shots. Accuracy really is so important. That's good work. That's like lovely that. work. Yeah. Again, it's just that little half step with the foot. Just little, just means he can just anything that Rodriguez throws hits fresh air, and he but he's not too far away that he can come back with a solid shot there, Oregon. He's busy as well. It's a good tempo. Oh, he's flicking out the shots. Twos and threes, he'll go again. I'm not offering Rodriguez anything in return. See, Rodriguez has got his hands up, but actually his defence is leaky. You know, not, his, 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 his defence is not tight enough, so his hands are high, but Rodriguez has been, been able to punch through the guard so easily. There's a huge difference in foot and hand speed between the two and he's really really struggling Rodriguez to get anywhere close to O'Regan who switched on he's focused he's evilly equally sorry as accomplished on the back foot as he is the front foot but he has probably more success when he's on the back foot yeah, because well, he's allowing Rodriguez to come on and make all the mistakes for him. He's, he's literally walking into the distance, and that's allowing Rodriguez there just to get the balance from the front foot to the back foot. But I think he's putting more weight behind the shots, isn't he, John? 
Yeah, I like it that he's holding his feet a bit more now. It's not so much side to side. He, um, I think he's best when he's, he's dominating the centre of the ring, but he's having a success now. He's not bouncing from side to side, and he's, he's really applying the pressure. Yeah, it was a lovely left to the body, followed by a right hook to the head. He's starting to feel these, some marking to the face of Rodriguez. Missing wildly with that lead left hook. You've got to be a little bit... See, see when you're attacking from far, oh, good shot from O'Regan there. Hurt, hurt got, got, got Gonzalez, Gonzalez and Rodriguez. Both of them. He's so good, he's hurting the other people who are not even here. Well, 20 odd seconds left of this third round and he could be en route here to pick up his first stoppage. O'Regan boxing lovely and he's really starting to feel the pace and the, the shots. And another left upstairs, O'Regan. These are such clean shots as well. It, it, it might be about time for the referee says, listen, you're not having no success and you're just walking on the heavy shots here. Yeah, really good stuff from the Yorkshire lad. Really enjoying himself in there. When you're in that position, when he steps back, you've got to make a double attack. You're fighting, fighting in mid range, you're putting your hands down, you need to get your hands up nice and tight. Okay. Try and finish on a hook in that mid range, whatever shots you're throwing, try and bring finish up on your, the hook uh, to the body. Stable mate. So that's bringing that down. Jim mate, Felix Cass, John, how's he looked? Need them hands up higher. Build up to this fight, uh, fight coming up. All the time. Big Ooh. fight looming for Felix. It's a must win for him. Yeah, massive. He's obviously had a good start to the yeah. year, getting out early in February. Um, bit of a Ball bit attack. of a slow start in the, in the mid mid year, but it'd be good for him to end the year on a high. Great to see Felix Cash back. Back to this one, round four. Corey O'Regan looking really, really good. Perfect opponent for him. Rodriguez, he's can't match. Can't match him for speed. He's there to be hit. You see again, just the sharpness, the accuracy of O'Regan once more. Gets caught with a left hook, though. From Rodriguez. With a little step back here from O'Regan, every time he throws a shot, it's just a little step back, and that just opens it up again for him. No. Rodriguez can't fire, and when he does fire, he's hitting fresh air, and that just, keep, that just makes him an easier target to hit. He's never got no defence then, of course. Again, we're going about the feet, and, and as good as the feet are at creating opportunities here for O'Regan, the feet are letting down Rodriguez, they're too slow. He's heel toe walking forward, everything's readable. work for those straight shots simple stuff really doing the damage again looking for that one two but be careful Rodriguez looking for that left hook again jumping in wildly with it though just target practice here isn't it for O'Regan absolute target practice happy seeing O'Regan on the back foot would you like to see him push Rodriguez back a little bit or you happy with what you see him? He's showing a nice bit of variety. He, um, he, he's, slip, he's slipping under the shots now. Shot Good attack. But I like him. See, I like it when he's rolling under the shots after he's throwing his own because you don't want to be copying for them silly hooks on the way out and, and getting a cut or anything. You said that earlier, John. You just want to take the, take the centre of the ring and boss it from the from the middle. Yeah, I think he's having great success there, and he's he's got Rodriguez so well, yeah. doing what he wants him to do. He's really under pressure. The referee down the line jumps in, and there is. The first stoppage for Corey O'Regan. Box lovely throughout that contest. He really did credit to Rodriguez. He tried, he was game, kept a high guard, but he was just second best in every department. Lacked the speed of hand and foot, and you can see what it means there to Corey O'Regan to get his first stoppage. Moves to nine fights, nine wins, one KO. It was impressive, Barry, wasn't it? It was impressive. This, 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 first of all, let's be honest, Rodriguez was literally made for him. A shorter fight, with slow feet, walking right at him. But you still got to do the work. I think, you know, the, the, first of all, he was dancing around the ring, ch constantly changing his direction, holding his feet to throw quality punches. But then, as John was asking for, as the rounds went on, 
He slowed it down, started to take the centre of the ring, started to boss a little bit more, put the punches together in not just more combinations, but more thought and more strength behind the work. And yeah, to be honest, the referee was looking to stop the fight because it was just one-way traffic. I think I said like two rounds earlier, it was target practice, John. Yeah, I mean, he, he warmed into the fight well and, and settled down his feet. Early on, he was just too much side to side, but I think he settled down well and um, great win and a great end to the year for him. Yeah, it was a very, very good day. Sharp, switched on, and he'd be over the moon with that. Can really enjoy himself over Christmas, crack on to a, a hopefully busy 2023. What a, what a way to finish the year exactly with well. your first stoppage you go and you go into the new year now full of confidence you know, realizing that tell showing people because you you're in the gym you know he knows you can punch his weight and now i've shown you i can punch my weight and they start you on the knockout but he wore him down with power and skill and accuracy a really good display he'd be over the moon so let's hand you back to our mc Mr. David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Howard Foster calls a halt in this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and three seconds of round number four. Your winner by TKO, Corey O'Regan.